Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, in this video uh, I'm practicing the lineup routine. It's the first time I'm actually recording uh, a commentary uh, just to explain my th thoughts process and how I go about uh, things, why I chose the shots I did. Um, I'm hoping I can learn from it, I can look back at it and, and learn and also if anybody else might too. So I hope you enjoy it and I welcome any comments. So I always start with one red below the black. Um, I used to I used to play with two previously but found it a bit difficult so uh, I'm a bit rusty lately so this is why I've just chose the one red to simplify it yeah I got a good red there and the black I'm just gonna stun off the the top cushion for any of the reds above uh, the black so that that was a good shot there, control the white um, now I, I have a selection of reds um, I'll probably go for the second one above the black and I say I'll come off the cushion again, another stun off the cushion and down for the black that shot didn't go well I think I got too much into that one so now I'm a bit straight on the black uh, I just want to screw back if I get a good connection and for the red that immediately above the black yeah I got way way too much into that also I potted it a bit thick on the thick side and that's where that's why I mean the white uh, didn't go further down the table uh, for, the, for, for that red so now I'm having to look for an alternative red uh, see if there's any that go into the middle pocket um, it's a bit difficult but I think the one directly above the pink goes so this is what I'm gonna go for I just need to make sure I line it up properly and stay as still as possible on the shot so just dropping it in dead weight and that was a good pot I mean these these pots are very missable but now I'm on the pink uh, a bit low so I think I'm gonna go top spin off the cushion this is my best option to go down for a few reds that are below the blue So yeah, that was perfect, worked out pretty well. I have quite a few to choose from there. Um, I think it's difficult f to see from this angle, but I think I'm gonna go top spin f for the blue. Just push through the red, yeah. I'm on the blue pretty well here um, as long as I pot it correctly I should be on the red just above the blue so hmm, yep didn't pot that well at all I potted it too thick on the thick side of the pocket so the red didn't go further down the table that's where I'm pointing yeah should have been in the center 
I potted it centre, I would, uh, the, the white would have gone further down the table. Uh, and I would have had just a simple top spin again, go roll it through for the blue. However, I'm just checking to see if I've got a better shot uh, than taking that red on. Um, the red goes, however, it's it's controlling the white before the bulk line. It, it looked like it was going to go close uh, to the bulk uh, line, and I I was just checking to see if I can hold it. So uh, I think I've decided I'm going to go for that red. Uh, I'm going to commit to it, I'm going to deep screw and try and get a good connection so I get good friction and hold before the the bulk line. Actually there it clipped the other red which I didn't see at the time so that probably slowed it down uh, and, and stopped before the bulk line. Um, I'm straight on the brown here, so I think it's just a, uh, a screw back off the cushion. A good connection there. Um, so now I have quite a number of reds I could go for. Um, So here I think I'm lining one up to the top pocket, uh, just like a, a screw, a soft screw or stun up for the pink. Yeah, uh, I didn't play that well again, didn't get through the cue ball enough. Uh, to come out, I wanted it to come out further, so now I'm having to play the pink still on it, but I'm going to have to go off the cushion um, off two cushions because if I played it just gently, I'd, I'd land on, on, on the left hand cushion. So, yeah, I'm going to have to play it. There you go, off two cushions. to the center pocket um, I think I'm gonna screw back on this one yep and the blue I'm I'm okay on the blue here and just to stun it up uh, here Done up for one of the reds. Um, just checking there on that red. I think uh, I didn't land particularly well. I was in between the two reds. Um, so I wasn't perfect. I mean, th they're all potable. It, 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 Position getting on on the colours on the right angle is crucial. Um, I mean the lineup routine. Most of the shots, it's in the middle of the table. All the reds and they look simple pots. But however, the angles are crucial. You could be like less half a roll out, and uh, and it makes a big difference. So here, yeah, I think I'm going to do a stun run through for the pink. Um, yeah, I played that pretty well. Uh, I was just afraid they were gonna roll roll off too much. 
Um, so now I can just stun up for either of the reds that are below the black. Um, maybe the second one would be the ideal one, but I didn't get into that pink either as I wished I would. Uh, I noticed there I, I jumped up a bit too quick. Uh, so maybe I'm going for the middle of them three by the looks of it just to stun up for the black or it, either black or pink but it could be pink or black um, yeah I didn't stun enough again it looked like I rushed that shot um, so I didn't get on the black like I wanted to so I'm, I'm gonna alternately take this pink which is a shot that I struggle with somehow I don't know why to the middle these three quarter balls or less just under three quarter balls and there you go I did miss it mm, which is a shame because I were going so well I think that was the ninth pot uh, nine which I haven't done for quite some time so I'm going to reset it again uh, rather than starting off all over I think I'm gonna because I've got so far I'm just gonna continue I'm gonna try and pot the pink and continue with this break and I did exactly the same again it, it's just off straight it's not straight and, and it's a, a pretty difficult you aim for the four corner and it goes straight um, which is annoying because it looked when I'm down it I'm look like it's perfect I'm, I'm aiming I'm not changing anything in my aiming uh, I'm doing the same thing here again and this time I pot it mm. shame I couldn't do that the first time however uh, it just shows you I can put you can pot sometimes the balls it's just the concentration and making sure you're focused enough um, maybe I will get in ahead of myself because it were going so well um, I think I'm going to just run through here um, it looks like yeah could be either for the black although the angle I could have stunned up maybe but I think the run through was the easier easier option so I'm back on the pink here to the middle which from it, it's similar to the one on the other side which I had um, just off straight less than three quarter balls and there I potted that one um, so now I the only alternative I have is uh, the red that's just above the black um, I could play the other red and but go down towards the blue but I thought that was more riskier than this one this one is a bit easier just just to screw back off the cushion there just a soft screw stun type of shot um, I'm perfectly on the black I've only got four reds left so to go down j just to stun past the, the red that's above the black um, And there you go, I missed that one as well. 
sh these shots that I've just missed the the pink and the black they are shots I'd probably if 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 I set them up I, I'd probably get especially that black I'd probably pot it 10 out of 10 uh, or at least 9 out of 10 I mean it, it, it's a simple shot it's a, it's about a three quarter ball stun shot uh, so I'm not sure why I missed it maybe anxiety may, maybe thinking about uh, the position too much rather than just playing the shot you see there I played it absolutely perfect just as I wanted to play it um, got the position on the red so we're going to carry on to see if I can clear the table now with, with no more mistakes I'm just gonna run through here for the black although I could have played for the pink too but it was easier to go for the black um, as long as I didn't go too far I should have been okay just looking at the angle how I, I, I wanted to get on that red that's just above the pink to drop it in the left hand side pocket um, so I just need to be careful I don't I don't hit it too hard so it runs away and then I lose the angle so yeah, just like a softish almost like a stun run I think it went about probably an inch too far there I would have preferred it a bit f less than this but I can still get on the pink from here however I'm I'm gonna need to to stun it past the pink coming up the table um, to pot the pink in the right hand middle pocket that's what I'm thinking it's, it's just it just went a slightly too far so now yeah there where I'm pointing around there this or further up even you know around that area that's that's where I need so I'm coming around to have a look at it um, where is the best position because then I need to get down there's two reds down near, near the blue so I just I need to be careful with this shot because it, it could go wrong if I get the angle wrong on the pink I can't get can't get down um, for the other two reds or I might have a difficult shot on the black so I'm just trying to play this shot with care and that worked out really good just got enough bite just to to hold past the pink there I mean I could have done with this another probably another roll and I would have just had a straightforward top spin into the middle pocket uh, and run down for that red bit the angle is just off straight so I'm gonna have to go off the cushion I'm just checking the angle where it's gonna come off the cushion and towards the red uh, so yeah I'm taking my time here uh, just to be car careful um, it's been a while uh, since I've played while I've been off for quite some time uh, during the pandemic and I had a bad shoulder injury so I'm, all, I'm just getting back to potting balls uh, not to my best but close to where I was so I potted that well uh, came off the cushion okay just enough far enough off the cushion So now I've I've got the I would have rather be straight so I can just run through but I think 
I'm not as straight as I, I would have been down already if I was straight. So I think it's just a, a stun. Stun shot to go down for the blue. And I didn't play that well at all. Again, on the thick side. Um, and now I've got too, a big, too much of an angle on the blue. Uh, to hold for the red. Um, if I play the blue, I'll, I'll be going. I'd have to go in and out of bulk, which is a bit tricky. Uh, to go between the brown and the green there. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen. Could hit the brown or the green, or coming back hitting them, going forward, and and they just lose position. So I'm having to go for the pink here. Come off two cushions. And just hope I hit it hard enough to get a good angle on this red. A good pot there, and nope, it didn't. It didn't go far enough. I needed it another couple of rolls, maybe another three or four inches, and I would have been perfect just to stun it into the middle and hold for a ball colour however it's a really tricky shot this I mean it's hard to see from from this angle but this was a really thin cut into a blind pocket the white is gonna really travel it is going towards the bottom uh, pocket uh, the yellow pocket and I'm just trying to figure out see how am I able to go around the angles and come round between the yellow and brown come out for a bolt colour but it's it's not looking a good shot a trick, it is very tricky a very thin shot uh, less than a quarter ball so here I go let's hope yeah there you go yeah the um, the angle was a bit tough there um, it looked like it, it's in and off. I thought I could hold it, but um, just before the yellow pocket and come round the angles. So yeah, um, I, I I stopped there because um, I think uh, that was enough for the night. Um, but so I'd like just to thank everybody for watching and hope you enjoyed the video and any comments. Uh, if you like to make any comments um, I'd appreciate it um, I'm still learning the game um, and any comments is a good comment I'm going to leave it um, there for now um, and hopefully I'm, I can post some more videos in the future